Um, hi, Alan. Yeah. How's it going? Well, good. How are you? I'm grand, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alan, you made a big impact on the game on, on Thursday night. Um, you know, do you think that you've done enough maybe to, to get a start tomorrow? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Um, you know, I just tried to come on, uh, make as much of an impact as I could. Uh, and I was involved in um, a lot of the better chances that we had and uh, maybe could have done better, but, um, you know, on another night, uh, find the back of the net. Um, but yeah, it's up to the manager now to pick his team up. The rest of the lads were exceptional as well, right the way through. So, um, you know, there's a lot of competition for places and hopefully I've uh, given them a bit of a headache now. What about penalties? Tell me your thoughts. Yeah, it's disappointing, you know. Um, I'm, I'm as gutted about it as anyone else is, but I accepted the responsibility and, you know, it's, it's a privilege to, to have that pressure. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't go in. It wasn't meant to be. But I said before, I'd rather miss it than see one of my teammates miss it. And um, you know, obviously, uh, we would have liked to win, to have won. But um, it, it just didn't seem to be our night. You know, we, we just couldn't get that goal. And then um, I, I kind of think that they nicked it in the end when I went to Penn. So um, you know, I, I won't dwell on it too much but um, yeah it's, it's a massive disappointment I won't dwell on it too much either Alan but had you thought about it during the week were you practicing and thinking I might get a chance here yeah of course I think everybody was uh, practicing them during the week leading up to it we knew that there was a possibility of it going to, to penalties obviously that wasn't our plan but that's how it panned out and um, you know I, I put my hand up I wanted one and it, it didn't go in, which is unfortunate for me and the rest of the boys. Um, but I have no regrets. You know, if, if the opportunity arose again, I'd put my hand up again. What position do you think best suits you in this Irish team? Um, I think that's up to the manager to decide. Uh, you know, I've I've played a, a lot of positions for my club. Um, I know at club level, I prefer playing in the ten um, and. I like to play in, in the eight role as well. And, you know, I spoke to Stephen briefly um, about that, and I think he has his his own ideas now of um, where he wants to play me. And oh. he, he got a list of what I'm about the other night. Uh, so it, it's up to him. You know, I, I'm just happy to play anywhere on the pitch. Um, I always give it a hundred percent and. Um, but you, you proved again that you are a goal threat. Yeah, um, you know, I, I think I could have probably done better on um, one or two occasions, uh, probably could have scored. But as I said before, you know, it's, it's just one of them things. It, it just didn't seem to go for us. You know, we went off the line as well with Connor um, on another night. You know, even if I think if he, he miss hit the ball, it would have went in. So um, it just seemed to be one of them nights. And, you know, we, we'll continue to, to keep working. Um, as I said, we're not going to dwell on it too much. We, we take as many positives as we can um, and hope to create more chances. And uh, hopefully I can find myself on the end of something. Hope so too. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you. Damien from PA, please. Hi, Alan. Yeah. Hi. Um, so much of football is is coping with, with disappointments, I suppose. How, how do you personally manage that? Um, from a, from my personal point, uh, you know, I like to analyse the games, um, but not dwell on them. You know, I, I've already looked at the chances that I had, um, chances that the team created, and um, you know, I've, I've took my own opinion from them. Uh, done better, uh, but I'm not going to play it over in my mind and let it, you know, get the better of me. Um, chances will come along again. Hopefully, we'll be in in good positions to to qualify for a major tournament in the future. And um, fingers crossed that it's it's the other way around next time that it goes our way. I mean, I think most people would accept that it was a very a positive performance the other night. You were unlucky not to get the result you wanted. Is there something there to build on? Do you think? Yeah, of course. I think you know it's still early doors uh, in terms of 
the manager just coming in. It's, uh, you know, it's difficult to get your ideas across right away of what you want um, in such a short space of time. But you know, the boys have really taken to him. Um, we like his ideas. Uh, you know, right across the board, the staff are are all tremendous, and um, we're all on board about where this team is going, and uh, we're excited for the future. I mean, this, the style of play he wants to, the team to play in, rather, it, it seems to suit your game. That must be exciting for you as an individual. Yeah, it is. I, I think even in, uh, under previous managers, I really enjoyed my, my time in the team. Um, but I think this is uh, a, different, a different opinion from a manager now on, on what way he wants to play. And for me personally, um, I like where it's going. Uh, you know, I think you can see in the game the other night that I find myself in good positions. Um, we play out from the back. Uh, but we, we don't obviously play stupid and, and risk it in areas where uh, we can get hurt. So um, it's, it's about finding the right balance. Um, and I, I think we're slowly progressing and slowly um, coming to terms with that. Thank you. William, please, next. Hi, Alan. How are you getting on? Um, just kind of thinking how difficult it is to go from a Thursday to Sunday game, from that disappointment to a fixture that has a fair amount of importance tomorrow, you know, particularly given that you're trying to get your first win in the Nations League and you want to get that campaign, you want to get some points definitely over the next four days or so. Has it been difficult kind of to refocus from that disappointment, the trip home, and then to have a fixture coming around as quickly as it has? No, I, I think, you know... Um, most of us will have been in situations like this um, throughout our careers at some point. You know, you, you get a, a massive disappointment, but um, it's probably a good thing, actually, that the, the game so soon you get a chance to kind of redeem yourself. Um, I know it won't make up for that loss because of what was at stake, but for us, um, it's another chance to go out and play well, um, hopefully win the game and uh, show as many positives as we possibly can now because... As I said, the, the game's gone. We're all obviously devastated um, with the result, but you can't dwell on it or it'll, it'll just haunt you forever. So, um, you know, we've got to look forward to the Wales game now and um, go into that with belief and uh, positivity. Yeah, because... I guess how this international window is viewed is going to be determined a lot by the next two games. If you get two good results here, Ireland are right back in contention in this Nations League group. Yeah, of course, and that, that's what we aim to do. Uh, you know, we went, we've went been going into every game um, with the belief and confidence that we, we can win, and it hasn't went as well as we would have hoped so far, but um, given the performance the other night, I think there's a lot more to come, and hopefully that start, starts tomorrow now and um, we can kick on from there. As players, was it frustrating not to have Adam and Aaron available on Thursday and now not to have them available for the next two games too? Yeah, it is. And I think um, because of the circumstances as well, it, it kind of adds an insult to injury a bit. Um, you know, they're, they're a massive part of this team. I know they're young, but um, their influence on the team is huge. And um, they were missed the other night. Um, but, you know, we're... We can only go off the guidelines. Everyone's in the same boat. We're just trying to um, do what we can and stay as safe as we can. And it's, it's the same for everyone else. So it's a, obviously disappointing for us, but um, we've got to get on and manage with it. Alan, just to ask you about the process of the new management yeah. team too. You've had a lot of games in fairly quick succession, but not a huge amount of time to prepare for these. Has that been difficult given that, you know, you've only really had two or three days ahead of each game that you've played? Yeah, I think it is difficult when you don't have much time to prepare. But um, as I said, we're, we can only work with what we've got and um, do, do the best uh, given what, what days we have. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of the boys played on a Sunday as well, which didn't help going into the Slovakia game. But that's just the way it is. And... Um, that's how it worked out. So it's it's unfortunate that we don't have more time, but um, we've just got to work with what we have. Okay, Gavin, we'll have the final questions of the live and then we'll move into the embargoed. Hi, Alan. Uh, just briefly on Aaron Connolly and Adam Ida, how close to kickoff was it before you realised that they'd be unavailable? 
uh, it was quite close, yeah. Um, you know, we, we were obviously aware of the team um, and, you know, for, for them to miss out in, in the circumstances that they did is obviously really disappointing for them to miss a, such a massive night and for us to miss them as well, their quality that they possess and bring to the team. Um, it was it was really disappointing, but you know we we've we've got it. It was a lot of and um, that that's what we did. And I think you know the boys who played the other night were were fantastic, and we've got um, real strength and depth in this team, and people can can come in and play. Um, so yeah, they they were missed, but, but um, I think we did as well as we possibly could. Yeah, but how disruptive was it, Alan, given it was, you know, so close to kick off and, you know, you're aware of the team and then the manager is forced into into late changes as regards the attack? Yeah, it's not ideal, but, you know, we're aware of the circumstances going on at the moment and, um, you know, these things happen. Uh, we're aware of going into these trips that, you know, you, you can get pulled aside and say, look, you, you can't be involved now um, because of this or because of that. So, um you know, every every team's in the same boat. It can happen to anyone, and we're aware of that. So, I think um, we can't let it play too much of a factor on us when when things like that do upset us. Okay, guys, we're going to move into the embargo section now. So, everything from this point onwards uh, will be embargoed until uh, eleven p.m. tonight. Owen Cowser, if you'd like to get us on on the way, please. Hey, Alan. Um, uh, um, I saw him. Um, uh, Alan Kelly said yesterday that um, you got some social media abuse. And was there much of it, or was it bad, or what was it? I actually wasn't aware of that, to be honest with you. Um, I don't tend to take more um, things like that. I don't go looking for negativity. I'm sure if you go looking, you you find it. Um, but no, I, when I seen it, I was obviously pleased that you know um, Alan had my backing, but I wasn't aware of what. Well, we did so. Um, so yeah, I, you know, when things like that happen, um, obviously you have the, the weight of the nation on your shoulders. So people are going to be upset. They're going to be in the heat of the moment, say things that maybe they don't mean, maybe they do. But either way, I won't let it let it bother me. Way that if you score the winner tomorrow, those very same people will be probably tweeting you to tell you how great you are. Yeah, exactly. You know, one week you're the hero, next week you're the villain. Um, that's just the way the game is. You know, you, you get people's opinions that are probably unwanted, but you got to take the bad with the good. And uh, when you're in this job, you've got to be aware of that. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's done now. We can't change the past. We just got to focus on the future. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks. Okay. I can't see Neil O'Reilly in there. So we'll go to uh, Michael Scully. Hi, Alan. How are you? Uh, just, just further to what Owen was saying to you. I mean, you, you said about having to take the bad with the good and it's something that you said in reply to Alan on, on Twitter. Is that something that's taking you time to kind of formulate as a, you know, in, in your own mind or, you know, as a, as a young player, were you like that? Is it just, does that come with experience? No, I don't think I've ever taken too much notice of what people say. Um, I know some people do and it can let, it can let them affect them. Um, but I think if you do that, you're, you're giving into people like that, you know, there's so many negativity on social media nowadays that you, you just can't take anything to heart, you know. Um, for me personally, anyway, that's the way I am. And um, it's great when you get positive feedback, but I think you just put the negative people on the side. It's a massive line between criticism and you know abuse. So you can you can take a bit of criticism and um, you know, any, anything further than that. And on the on the flip side, have you had much uh, many messages of support, family, friends, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, of course. You know, my friends and family will always have my back, and my, my teammates. And, uh, those are the only opinions that matter to me, really. Um, so any any uh, just goes over my head. And I suppose the lads were rallying around yourself and and Matt were they on 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 the night itself and and since? Yeah, um, you know, we win as a team, we lose as a team. That's the way it is in football. Um, and as I said it before, I, I enjoy the responsibility of taking from a country on such a, a massive stage. And if if it came along again, I'd take the opportunity again. So I, I've no regrets. I'm, I'm not going to lose sleep about anything. Obviously, I'm as good as anyone else about missing. But 
um, these things happen. It's about how you come back from the, the setbacks. And how, how would you describe the mood of the squad now, finally, for me? I think it's as good as can be, um, considering uh, the massive defeat. Uh, you know, as I said, you've got to get over it. Look forward to the next upcoming games because it's such a quick turnaround that you've got a, a, another chance to go and uh, prove yourself again. So it's probably a, a good thing that the game's so soon, uh, you know, gets you over the defeat against the back end. Thank you. Uh, David? Yeah, Alan, how's it going? Yeah. Just, just, just one question for me, and I don't want to harp on about the penalty, but when you mentioned earlier about, about Stephen, one of the, the aspects of his kind of management style is that man management. Had, did, did that come into play with you? Like, would you have had a chat after, not so much on the pitch or in the dressing room, but Think just going back just to talk to you about it and or anything like that. He, he hasn't spoken about the penalty. He spoke about uh, my performance in the game. Um, he hasn't mentioned the penalty. I don't think he needed to. Uh, you know, I can I can take that responsibility of missing myself. I don't need an arm around me or anything like that. Um, but yeah, we we talked about my performance in the game, um, the positives, the negatives, and. Any of the question, guys? Yeah, I'll just have a quick one. Um, Alan, how are you doing? Um, just in terms of coming into this game, I suppose after the first two matches, you, you flew under the radar to, uh, to a certain extent. Um, obviously, you, you impressed in training during the week to get the, the, the nod to get onto the pitch. But just to, in terms of your performance and also having the... Uh, uh, taking on the responsibility of taking the penalty. Um, the manager s- spoke before about um, looking for players to accept responsibility and looking for a team of leaders. So do you think all those aspects of, of the way it all played out will, will stand to you and, and you, it's sort of like a clean uh, clean slate with this manager in terms of when he's picking uh, midfield uh, combinations? I hope so, yeah. You know, I'm going to every game um, wanting to play hoping that I will play um, I'm not going to say I should have played because that would be um, going against what the, what the manager thinks so I think he picks the best team um, and that's his opinion uh, when, I, when I do get an opportunity I look to take it um, and that's all you can do with that just be ready and be focused and you never know when the next opportunity will knock so um, I think everybody's in the same boat. Everybody's raring to go. Um, you know, it's a privilege to everyone to be shot. So, um, as I said before, it's a massive competition for places, and um, it'll continue to be so going into the future. Okay.